name is Dr. Gavin Archer. The situation is urgent. We're facing a catastrophic VI breakout. I'll explain the details later, but you must retract that transmission dish. The controls aren't far from your position. Thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Who did you say you were? Dr. Gavin Archer, chief scientist at this facility, and probably the only one left. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been less than satisfactory. I'd hate to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed, at least partially. My brother, David, volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off-world. How does he take control of electronics? 
This is a hybrid intelligence the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extra net, who knows where it would end. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David, the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. What happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan Station is our geothermal plant. It generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. Theoretically, it should have been safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? Where would the galaxy be then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander.
This was too easy. Come on, let's move. Moving in. Ooh.
systems. I'm ordering my people to sabotage the plant any way they can. Doctor, we've hit the override at Vulcan Station and are moving on. Shepard out. Get ready. 
I wouldn't be surprised if this button summoned a reaper. do anything rash. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must believe me. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. And before you knew it, you were running your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will 
will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. But a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. It all seemed harmless. I swear we got some lateral drift. The old Normandy never had that. I was thinking of installing some lava lamps, maybe Christmas lights for ambience. What do you think? It takes skill to make a ship bank in a vacuum. Don't think it doesn't. I've been thinking about taking up bullfighting. What do you think? So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Sexual activity common for humans in such times, understand it intellectually, recommend caution when dealing with Cerberus. I believe Miranda has earned our trust. What she and I do in our spare time is our business. Of course, hormones, just watch for bugs, could be planted anywhere. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Watch for bugs, could be planted anywhere, can perform exam later if necessary, will need probes. Biotic ability also gives benefits, forwarding booklet to your quarters, includes diagrams, exercises, inventive uses of mass effect fields, can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort, gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Hope rumors of Joker and ED Similarly exaggerated. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comm room. Oh. Pardon me, Commander. I've cleared the engine room. I'll be there in five minutes. I should have known you wouldn't settle for the captain's quarters. I settle for nothing but the best.
Oh, Shepard. The engine room? Really? Right there where Tally works? Okay, I have to know. Just how genetically modified is she? Because... Wow. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I'm trying to remember... What was his name? Salarian infiltration specialist. Hunted story man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kinda reminds me of him.